He's a black pot. AKA Kuku Show, number where we speak truth to power, and I'm most excited to be with you. Now, my brother, my sister, today we have a number of things coming from the news reel where we endeavor to always keep it real. Now, here we don't criticize, but if we must criticize, we'll just criticize to build and not to destroy. That is why we say we are in the service of God and country. This is the voice of the people, and the voice of the people is the voice of God. This is the black pot. Yeah. Now, the very first story we are looking at today is taken from Peace FM Online. And it says, I've never been corrupt and I will never be corrupt. This Alan Kay outlines plans to root out corruption. And I read. Now, Alan Kojocherman, founder and leader of the Movement for Change and an independent professional presidential hopeful in the December 2024 polls has pledged to address the issue of corruption by instituting an anti-corruption um, Caesar mm -mm -mm. with robust prosecutorial powers. Now, Chairman Ting articulated the, his commitment to combat corruption during discussions with the leadership of the Trades Union Congress, TUC, in Accra on Wednesday, 27, 2024, at a meeting with organized labor. He emphasized his intention to amend the Constitution and establish an independent anti corruption Caesar, separated from the Attorney General and the Minister for Justice, empowered to rigorously tackle the corruption without bias, asserting the importance of personal integrity in leading the fight against corruption, Mr. Chairman Ting highlighted his own track record, stating, I've never been corrupt and I will never be corrupt. Now, I live in a country where people can watch thieves steal without saying a word. And yet when thieves are being counted, those who sat back and watched thieves steal are not counted. Write it down. I said, I live in a country where people would sit back and watch thieves steal without saying a word. Yet, when thieves are counted, these people who sat down to watch stealing without saying a word, are not counted. The account people have a proverb that I like so much. You see, opinion to fear, now or she, I'm a unkwala, I will non can. You can non can, we for her, you can non can. True? Look at that lantern, my thing. Is it serious? You sat down and watched an old man older than you run this country into the ruins desecrated this beautiful country and destroyed the very foundations of this country like the Jericho walls coming down. He descended on this country like a hawk on chicks, swallowed every one of us, and today that is belly full. My brother, my sister, without saying a word, you say you have never been part of corruption and you will never be corrupt. Like the Babel Tower, you and your government crashed down this nation right from where it was at the top. You brought it to the bottom with no shame. This Alan Chermatin guy is not serious. My brother, Alan Chermatin went for the primaries of the NPP. Heavily disappointed, I drew me so. He decided to walk out of pain walked out and left his party 
Remember when he was resigning his position to do the primaries, what did he tell us? Oh, I am resigning not because the Nakufuado is corrupt or anything bad with his government. I am only resigning because I want to take part in the primaries. After he lost the primaries, he's now on a spree telling people how corrupt this government has been. Such a dirty hypocrite. I don't like people like Alan Chematin. They are hypocritical parasites. They don't deserve an iota of respect from any Ghanaian. They are cheap hypocrites. Nobody who has ever served the Nana Akufu Ado government is fit and qualified enough to come for the mandate of the people in any sphere of politics. You all sat down and watched this dirty government sink this nation into the doldrums. All of a sudden, you are, oh, latter-day saints and prophets. Look at Alan Tremantin. For so many years, you sat down and watched Nana Akufuado ruin this nation. He was even proud to tell us that he was the one who told Akufuado and insisted that we went to the IMF. Look at him. He's so happy telling us that he was the brain behind taking Ghana to the IMF. Today, he's telling us it's never been corrupt. When you were under Nana Akufuado, enjoying all the goody goodies, running left, right, and center, everything was cooked and curry, right? You didn't give a rat's backside to whatever was happening to this country because of your personal vendetta, personal whims and caprices. You ran out of the party like a hounded dog. My brother, my sister, all of a sudden, he is telling us that he has never been corrupt and he will never be corrupt. My brother, the problem, I said this somewhere and I'm repeating it. The problem with our nation is not about those who humiliated us and hold us up and the word is h-o-l-e-d hold us up in other words put us in the hole it's about those who stood by and could have saved us but decided to watch unperturbed the humiliation and the holding up of our people my brother my sister alan tremantin for me is a joker a hypocrite for that matter Next thing I'm going to look at, and this is quite dicey. In fact, it is really dicey. But I need us to all come around and look at it. It says, and I'm reading this from Ghana Word. It says, a hoist may be privy to something about Muhammad's health status that Ghanaians do not know. And this is Martin Hamidu speaking. Former... Um, 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 special pretender. My brother, my sister, I read. Now, former special prosecutor Martin Amidu has suggested that there may be additional information about the health status of the NDC flag bearer John Dramani Mahama that the Ahoys are not disclosing to the public. Reacting to the viral video and news reports on what Kwesi Ahoy said during a uh, party at uh, the Ahoy's office at the, uh, the Laboni office to affirm Professor Nana Jenopoku Wajiman's nomination as the National Democratic Congress's running mate. Amidu indicated that those words were not merely wrongly spoken. <laughs> My brother, Yabo. Yabo. now when this issue first came out, these were the same words I said. Kwesi Ahoy did not drink too much alcohol. And if he drank too much alcohol, this was something he had been meditating on before he brought that out. Alcohol sometimes is good. It makes the wicked thinking of men come out just after ingesting a few thoughts of alcohol. My brother, my sister, what Martin Abidu is saying is nothing but the truth. And it's sad that the dead of a living man can start to be sung even before he dies. 
Adia e eh, yapa e eh, wia se nipa enye eh, wuya na mutu ni yenyum It's sad I am really sorry for Mahama I feel the pain of Mahama wherever Mahama is I am sure he's crying and telling himself oh what is this in Jamaica they have a problem which I want to unleash on you right now. He says, man not dead, now call him doppy. In other words, if you haven't seen a man die, never ever call him a ghost. In other words, nipa nyen wuya, men friend usamai. My brother, Kwesi Aho is a very dirty, wicked man. Very dirty, wicked man. Very, very, very to the umpteen time, dirty, wicked man. No apology can redeem this man. He has to get rebaptized, renamed, rechristened, my brother, my sister, and washed snow clean. In fact, he has sinned against Mahama to the extent that. Not even Angel Gabriel can wash him clean. No amount of holy water can wash him clean. The most painful thing is for a man to be struggling with his health and another man already prescribes him dead. One of the things Bob Marley went through which I will never forget. There was a time the newspapers in Jamaica and around the world were counting down on Bob Marley's death day because the doctor had said that he will not live beyond 10 days. So the newspaper you pick up today will say nine days to go. The following day, eight days to go. The following day, seven days to go. Can you imagine what kind of pain this man will go through? Should I take you through the annals of history? Marcus Garvey, the very first gentleman of Jamaica. He died because of this. He was sick when it was already published in the news by people, my brother and my sister, like uh, Du Bois, that he had died. When he read the newspaper, already announcing his obituary, he had a heart attack that he was not dead and they were already saying he was dead. Marcus Garvey died instantly. That is how painful it is, my brother. Hey, what kind of alcohol did you drink? What kind of cocaine was it that could have made a man? What kind of heroin was it that could have made a man? What kind of a stimulant was it that could have made a man pronounce a man's dead and his obituary when he's still alive? Mama, but in all this, there's a beautiful word for you. Until God says that it is over, it's never over. I don't know what sickness you might be suffering from. We all are sick in this country. Even little babies are dying in hospitals, let alone grown ass men. They say if there's no mercy for the cripple, you say. Little babies are dying. Mama, if you are truly sick, whatever the problem is, even if you were not, remember that there are some people who are curiously writing your dead. There are some people who are already singing, singing Sanchi. In Jamaica, there's something we say, Sanchi. You know what Sanchi is? It's a dead. Funeral. A yenyum. In Sisale, we say, Hanye. My God, this is supposed to push you on to victory. It's supposed to push you on to give up your very best in uplifting this country. So that when you are gone, Ghanaians and the world over will sing the same songs they are now singing for Kwame Nkrumah. It is time for you to stay away from all sorts of corruption. Stand firm and rewrite the history of Ghana. You have the power 
when you win the elections. If I were you, I would embrace that old saying that when life confronts you with bitter lime, you just pick it up, squeeze it up, and make lemonade out of that. I leave it here. Now, the next thing I want to look at is taken from three news.com and it says, Eight years of lies. If our Nelson criticizes Akufuado over Dumso at Tema Hospital, and I read, Now, renowned actress and producer, if our Nelson has expressed her displeasure over the current Dumso situation in the country, her recent reaction. Over the erratic power cut follows the viral video from the national, in fact, neonatal intensive care unit, NICU, of the Tema General Hospital, which experienced doom so on Tuesday night. Moms after the light out, I beg your pardon, moments after the light out, a viral video was shared where a nurse lamented the situation, detailing how the electrical power cut poses a threat to the lives of babies who are in incubators at the hospital. And this was what Yvonne Nelson wrote out. Oh my God. I leave it here. <laughs> My brother, my sister, she wrote, I don't even know what to type. Our leaders are wicked. Nana Akufuado, how do you sleep at night? Eight years of lies. No wonder that song came out. Mr. President, why you they lie so? Before election, you tell me you be angel. When you sick, you run go to London. When we sick, oh, we die for Colebo. Mr. President, oh, tell me da, 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 da. Tell me how you they sleep at night. Oh. Tell me how you they sleep at night. If I were you, I would lose sleep. But it is now the president is even competing with us over sleep. Every small instance is asleep unprovoked. To the point that his wife can tap him in public to wake him up from a slumber. He's too comfortable. My brother. Now even Nelson is talking about Dumso. In the days of Mahama, she was one of those that went out there fighting in what was called the Doomsaw Vigil. And it was nice. My brother, I love it when the people demand accountability from the leaders. In this government, many people called her out. And a number of times she responded. Now she says it's eight years of lies. And I agree with her. A video came out. Allegedly filmed by a nurse of the Tema General Hospital, where babies in ICU incubated sir, were left in darkness after doom so. And some, we were told, even died. When I saw this, I remembered my own baby a few years ago at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital in ICU in one of those incubators. When I spoke to some of the nurses there, they told me point blunt, a number of these babies will die as they die every time. If you have your baby at the ICU, in the incubators, the chances of them surviving quite slim. Now Dumso has come to add. You can imagine how painful it is. And the most painful part of it is they are playing the ostrich. They are not even ready to tell us, oh, there's actually doom so, and this is the timetable. Now, when you further read, you will see that the hospital has finally come out to say, yes, we are the doom so, but it was brief. What do you mean by brief? How many minutes? How many hours? Now, the video alone lasted a period of about two minutes. One minute is enough to kill all the babies in there. Hold your breath for five, one minute, even as an adult. And tell me, how many people can survive? Kai, we have a wicked nation. 
and the hospital authorities at Tema. All of you who are denying this and trying to do propaganda for the hospital, you will all go to hell one after the other. Satan is waiting for all of you, will sodomize you non stop. You will never come out of hell. It's sad. My brother, Tema General Hospital, they denied it at first. They said, oh, we have a standby generator. And therefore, it didn't really happen. It was just a power trip. Now look at the period the video was even taken. Up till the time that the video went off, there was no light. And the babies were crying for their lives. Oh my God. I am so terrified. Hi! Hey! Infanticide, this is what it's called. Infanticide, they are killing our babies. And I hear some other guy who proudly had an abortion with Yvonne Nelson the other day and never apologized for it, but rather called Yvonne Nelson a prostitute is also crying over the babies dying. What you did... It's equivalent to what the general hospital is doing. The same thing, killing the infants, infanticide. I pray that he has changed. Some people only come out and speak against these things for political correctedness. Nothing more. That is why our country doesn't move forward. I leave it here. My name is Black Rasta, and I want to say thank you so much. I appreciate you for Nana Akufuado and his government. Your place is the hottest part of hell. I leave it here.